the defective market watch let's crunch some numbers baby <laughs> What's up, Defects? Welcome to the Defects Market Analysis. You know what we do. We're taking five comic books that we consider market indicators. They don't necessarily have to make huge moves on news, but we think these books just kind of move overall with the market. Of course, they're going to move a little bit with news, but these are a little bit more stable. So what we're going to do is we did this video two months ago. So now we're going to compare those numbers versus today's numbers. Okay. So Let's crunch some numbers, Defects. The Butcher, what's up, baby? Say hi to you before we get started here. What's good? What up, Defects? You know Matt is our analytic guy, so he puts all these numbers together. We're going to be comparing those books, the same exact books from two months ago. Let's see where the... I'm curious to see where the market's at. I'm curious yep. to see what we're doing. You're going to be surprised. You're going to, I, I think everybody watching is going to be surprised. So before we get into it, put your comments down below. Guess. Are we going to be overall up? Or are we going to be overall down? Or are we going to be overall level? So do that right now. And while you're doing that, let's get into some books. What's nice about this is that I have a screenshot, which is something you can't do. Obviously, with GPA, you can't go backwards in time. So I kept all of the screenshots from two months ago, and we're going to compare them. So that's that's the beauty of this, right? That's that's what you're look, getting here that you're getting. I mean, look else. at this. You know this, what I mean? This, yeah, the Professor X of YouTube comic book content. <laughs> Just a little <laughs> faster. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, let's start off with an old reliable. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Here we go. Start off with an old reliable Hulk 181, Jay. Yeah, that's the whether you consider it the first or the second, this is the money book right here, right, guys? A blue chipper always, always seems to maintain high value, right? Never really like a spec book that takes a dive. So, Let's get into some numbers. Right. If we're gonna get if if you were gonna get movement on a on a book like this from spec, it was re, it was in the past six months because of so much Deadpool news, right? Right. So yep. interesting to see what happened in the last two months. So this is the chart that you guys saw two months ago as of September twelfth. That's when I compiled the data for last video on the market watch. So you could see ninety day average. Is 8,600, 17 sales in 90 days, and the last sale was 8,100. Now, let's take a look at the chart as of 11.8. Uh, we're doing this video on the 9th, though, depending on when you're watching it. Here's the data. So, the 90 days down, the volume's down, and the last sale is down, okay? So, uh, I mean, just as... Now, this one had a little bit of a caveat, Okay. So the last sale is the biggest drop, right? So obviously the last sale was 8,100. Now we're at 7,100. However, sometimes you got to look a little deeper, Jay. Sometimes you got to look a little deeper. So that $7,100 sale, number one, it had a custom Wolverine label on the CGC slab, which I know majority of people do not like, especially for a grail like this. Jay, would you have a custom label on a big key? I mean, I would. You would. If okay. it was AS, if it was ASM one twenty nine, and they had an awesome Punisher label, I probably would get the Punisher label. But I do understand why people do not. I do see that part of it. Right. Do you think that most people, if you had it, you know, somebody, people looking for a nine. Sorry, and I went back. This is a nine zero CGC nine zero in this book. People looking for a 9 would you say majority are looking for a custom label or do you feel like the majority would be looking for without? I think majority are just looking for the best price that they could get for that book, whether it has the label or not. True, I don't think true. that that wouldn't deter me um, in any way. I would be nervous resubmitting a 9 hoping, right. you know, to keep the same grade. You know, I, I would be a little nervous on that. But as far as the label goes for me personally on a grail, um, depended on the book. I said the Punisher only because it's my favorite character and I thought it would be pretty cool. I wouldn't go out and get an X-Men label on my X-Men one that I'm not, you know, I'm not a big X-Men guy. So something like that, maybe not. Right. Now I, I think was... it, I think I think at the end of the day, it's if you're a fan of that book or you're just buying it for an investment value. Because obviously if you're a fan, you might want Wolvie on that sure. 181, you know. So yep. but I, to each his own, man. Yep. 
the bigger issue on this sale though was that it was an eBay auction that ended at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Halloween. Okay, oh, so I feel like a, that definitely uh, hurt the auction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, guys, if you're posting books on eBay, you got to end that at a, a you know. Is it, was that East Coast or West Coast time at 11? 11 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Oh, all right. So it's still early in the night on the West Coast. You're just hurting yourself setting up an auction that ends on Halloween. You know, kids are right. coming to the house trick or treating or vice versa. You're out trick or treating with your kids. I mean, oh, yep. So but Be that smart, will, guys. you know, that will hurt a, a, a book because we've we've been looking into that a little bit more with some of these numbers because the market is a little bit more stagnant. Timing does hurt a book, you know, whether it ends and I've we've been looking at books that are ending in the middle of the night, three in the morning, you know, 7 a.m. in the morning. So that stuff is going to sway the market, especially when there's not a ton of sales. Uh, you know, one more. Who, I don't, you, you, know go ahead. you know, I'm just going to say, you know who that hurts most? The guy who's trying to sell that book right now at a, at a con or at a show that someone's <laughs> pulling up the last sold. That hurts, man. Exactly. Uh, I just wanted to highlight this. This is the last, uh, and you can see on screen, this is the last of the couple sales from October 31st was the last sale. Um, August 25th should have been recorded with the last time we would have done this video. That was 6,900. That was a super low sale for according to GPA. Now, the reason it wasn't is it was sold on Comic Connect, which is a site that not a lot of people know about. Um, so I could see the number being down there and they're super slow to report to GPA. And sometimes they don't even report to GPA. So this August 25th sale was actually not there on September 12th when we did this video last time. That would have dragged the 90 day down. So these numbers would have been a little bit closer. So again, the numbers on the Hulk are a little skewed, but there's no doubt that we're down. And I think that makes a little bit of sense because we are further away from any, you know, and I said these books don't move too much with news, but of course they're gonna move some. We're, we're away from a lot of the Deadpool news that was happening over the summer. So this makes complete sense to me on this book, Jay. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see what it does with, you know, the Marvel's end trailer. We'll see where it goes from there, but I don't think it it should affect it too much because we already know we're getting Wolverine in Deadpool 3, so. Right. All right, let's keep Shocking going. Shocking though, Matt. Coming down, man. I mean, is the market still correcting itself? Are people just hurting for money because it's holiday time and people got to save for gifts and stuff? There's a lot to take into consideration here. There is. And, you know, that's that's what these videos are for, because it's not just looking at the data. It's for analyzing every variable yeah. that could be leading to a hike or a dip. So let's see. That's, I would say, the, the biggest drop um, on the list so far. But let's keep going. So Batman 251, iconic Neil Adams cover. Um Here's the values as of the September video. We have a $1,400 uh, 90 day average. We have a 1365 last sale and a six, uh, six sales in that 90 day period. And we are actually up on the volume. We are up on the 90 day and we are, I think down $16 on the last 60, sale. Yeah. Yep. So stable. This, this one just stable, which makes sense for a DC key. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense for a DC key. Makes sense for a book with no real movie news behind it. Um, just, just pretty much maintained. And it, listen, we have that spike there, but this book is pretty much maintained and and grown gradually. But you know, in that range, pretty much maintained its whole way in a CGC nine point Beautiful yep. book, by the way. One of my favorite yeah. Batman covers. Hell yeah! And again, I like the increase in volume, so that's a good indicator. So if you're going to take anything, this book is hotter than it was two months ago obviously yep. it's not hot but it, it's looking healthier than it did two months ago we'll move past that one fast fantastic Oof. for 48 first appearance of silver surfer first cameo of galactus big book here a lot of people's grails okay let's let's get let's dig into this one this one's interesting so uh as of september 90 day was 1428 with 12 sales the last sale was 1205 okay as of November 8th, we have a $1,222 uh, 90 day, okay? That's down, nine sales. That's about the same, right? Let me just go back. It's a little down. Yeah, a little down. But the last sale, $1,499, that is way up. That's $250 up from the last sale compared to the last time we did this video. Um, and then just a quick look at the last sales. You can see that $1,205 is when we did the video. 
You had an 1100, a 960, and then it started marching back up. Maybe because of some recent news that we heard. Again, not no book is immune to news moving it a little bit. We but we have been getting some Herald news. We have been getting some Galactus news. So maybe people are willing to spend a little bit more. You could clearly see just from the numbers on screen, a dip and then a raise. And this is a that was a pretty big jump, Jay. Looking to clean and press your books before submission? Well, look no further than the best in the business. Erod 212 with Express Comic Book Pressing Service. Defects 10 gets you 10% off. Erod will submit your books to CGC and CBCS and pass along his discount. Hit him up on Instagram or email expresscbp at yahoo.com. Could it be the movie news, a little bit of rumors and speculation, or could it be people thinking, let me grab this book now while it's continually dropped? Because if you could go back to that graph again, Matt, we see it was pretty much a, a steady decline. So are people finally saying, hey, this is my price range on this book. This is what I was waiting for it to drop down to and, and people grabbing the book up, you know, um, once we get major news, I think we see a spike in this book. I think this book is undervalued right now. I know it's not the best cover. That 49 is probably the best cover. I'm sure that affects the book in some ways, but it's still the first full appearance of the Silver Surfer and the first cameo of Galactus. Yep. Maybe it hit the floor. Let us know in the comments. Do you think we are at the floor for Fantastic Four 48? So again, this is one of those ones. Some indicators looking good. Some indicators looking not so good. We called it out earlier. Amazing Spider-Man 129, first Punisher, Frank Castle. Let's take a look at the numbers. All right, so as a September video, we had a 1398 90-day average, 23 sales in that 90-day period, and a 1350 last sale. Let's take, let's take a look at September. Well, we are down across everything, okay? The 90-day yeah. is pretty wow. much the same. The 90-day is pretty much the same. The sales are down. Um, we're only at 16 compared to 23, but that's still a healthy number of sales in a 6.5. Um, the last sale is 1,100, which is definitely down. So, and then let's just take a quick look. Um, a bunch of sales. So you could see uh, 1,350 from the bottom to the top. 1,350, 1,250, 1,300, 1,175, 1,275, 1,442. 1275, 1100. So a lot of ups and downs on this book. Um, yeah, but that's I don't know. a major dip. That's a big, that's a big dip, man. So the last sale, I think this probably did affect this, this sale a little bit. Again, being a six, five, maybe not as much, but the last sale was an off white page color book. I don't think it's going to create a huge drop, but I could see if that was like an off white to white, Maybe it goes for eleven seventy five or twelve hundred because you're going to attract more buyers to it. So naturally, the sales are going to be a little higher. So again, a little caveat: those are some of the things that you need to look at when you're analyzing prices, not just the number. Listen, I hate to see a book like this come down in price because it's a character I love, but I am happy for people that maybe are Punisher fans that were waiting for a certain price for this book to drop so they were able to get it. Because even, listen, 12 sales, that's still a lot of sales. Was it 12 or 16? 13. Uh, oh, 13. 16, oh. 16, you're right, yeah. 16, yeah, yep. 16 are buying this book up too. And maybe they're buying it for an investment point or maybe they are just a Punisher fan and waiting for their grail to hit, like you said, the floor. Yep, so definitely down indicators. But maybe, you know what, we got some recent... Not Punisher news, but we got maybe a change in direction for Marvel with the Echo trailer. They're going dark. They're going TVMA. They're going rated R. Maybe this starts to change the sentiment about characters like the Punisher and, and the MCU. And just, and just an overall um, change in sentiment for the MCU, maybe. Maybe it's just a step in the right direction. I'm not, I'm not you know, raising the banner yet, Jay, but maybe well, it's a yeah. step in the right direction. And opposed to the MCU on the comic book side of it, there is a new Punisher now. Frank Castle yes. is banished for the most part. Will we see him again? Absolutely in comic books, guys. But right now it's Joe Garrison moving forward. And maybe that hurts it too a little bit, you know? Good point. Good point. All right, last book on the list. And this one looks good not only for the cover, but for the numbers, right? So we got ASM 607. 
and in a CGC 9.8. Oh, Black Cat's been all over the place. We've been dealing with Black Cat a lot lately. Yep. Uh, as of September, we had a 236.90 day and seven sales with a $230 last sale. We have a, as of today or yesterday, I should say, we have $242.90 day, 13 uh, uh, 90 day sales volume, and a $275 last sale up across all indicators. And if you just take a look at the last sales of this book, we did dip down to 190, but we also went up to 300 on this book. Maybe somebody watched our video. Maybe yeah, they realized that, yeah. that this book was a little undervalued, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's still stable for the most part, right? You don't see a significant drop like you did in the previous books we just talked about. So No, this is up. Again, if anything, this is up. So yeah, yeah this like, is up like across said, all man, indicators. A modern book that's a key because of the cover art. So could that affect it? I'm sure. But I would say pretty stable for the most part. A little $30 swing. You know, when people like a book, they might pay the extra 30 bucks and just say, fuck it. But who knows? So were you right earlier in the comments when you wrote what you what you thought it was going to be? Was it up? Was it down? Over To me, it feels a little stable, maybe slightly down. I thought it was going to be a little bit further down. So I, I was reassured about the numbers. Maybe we're a little closer to the bottom of that correction. But Jay, what do you think? I thought it was going to be stable once we first started doing the video. I didn't think there was going to be much change in two months from September to November. Um, and we've seen, you know, not drastic drops, but we've seen significant drops in some of these books. I mean, I can't wait to do this video again in another two months and see exactly where we at. Like Matt said, you got to take everything into consideration. Right now it's Christmas time. People are spending money. People have kids. People are buying presents for family. So, but we could gauge it again, you know, come February, right? Uh, sorry, January and see exactly yep. where we are. And just a quick little update. We did that uh, Miles Morales, the Ultimate Fallout 4, Jajervic 1 in 25 variant market watch video. Small update to that. Uh, this is interesting. So during the video, if you didn't watch that, go back and watch it. I showed that there was two upcoming auctions on Comic Link, one on Comic Link and one on Heritage Auction that were going to end around Thanksgiving. Um, and that I was really curious to find out where those sales would end kind of predicting that they would be down. And I even gave an estimate and a number. Um, since then, one of those auctions has been pulled. So I thought that Oof. was very interesting. So maybe one of those sellers watched our video and realized maybe now is not a good time to be selling oh. that book. So that wraps up the market analysis for September. Tell us what you think the state of the comic market is. Uh, two months, you know, we're going to try maybe next month to do five different books. We'll see. We're going to play around with it. We're still, there's a new segment, so we're going to figure that out. We're definitely going to do it again in January, no matter what. Yep. Um, so guys, go back, check out some of the earlier videos. You know, at the end of this video, you'll see a little boxes for some of those. So check those out for us if you can. Like, comment, subscribe. If you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so you know when we drop new content. That's every Tuesday and Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. And then we're selling books, guys. When, uh, Thursday nights on whatnot, 9.45 Eastern, after Erod, after Gary, right on the screen right there. Get $15 off your first purchase. Use the link down below. And until the next Market Watch Defects, 